Hey everybody, it's DG Tronic and I'm back with another video. This time it's a quick overview and a speed test run of Apple's Motion 5 right here. So this is the page you get when you click on Apple's Motion 5. It's the project browser window. In the middle you have a few options. You have the option of creating a motion project a final cut effect project, a final cut generator project, a final cut transition project, and a final cut title project. On the right side of the window there's some very important preset information about your project such as the video preset options. The frame rate preset options. The duration of your project and whether it's going to be in seconds, time code or in frames. This portion of the window tells you a little bit about which type of project you've chosen. In this case it's the motion project we've chosen so it talks about the motion project. And the last little bit of the window right here tells you about the presets you've chosen. On the bottom of the window you have two options. Open other which brings up this dialog box and you can click on any file you want or create project from file which gives you this dialog box and you can open any file that you want and use it as a project. In the middle of the bottom of the window you have the option to magnify or make the icons smaller and make them fit. On the left side of the project browser window there's some interesting options. You have the option of opening up a blank project. You have the option of opening up a recent project that you've worked on. You have the option of using some preset, pre made compositions. Or you can go through the categories of the compositions and choose one. You can use Final Cut Effects, Final Cut Generators, Final Cut Transitions, and Final Cut Titles. But because I don't have Final Cut Pro X, and due to the awesome, really good reviews, not that it has received, I'm not planning to buy it anytime soon. When I click on these, well, I get nothing here, but I'm assuming if I had Final Cut Pro X, then the related material would appear right here. Let's open up a motion project. This is the motion project window when you are working on a motion project. This is the canvas area right here. Your timeline is right here, which is toggleable, so you can turn it off. You can turn it on. If you have music tracks or audio tracks, you can turn that on or off. And if you're working with keyframes, you can turn that on or turn it off. In the middle here, you have three tabs. 
the layers tab the media tab and the audio tab on the left side you also have three tabs the file browser tab which shows all the places on your computer that you can store files and get your files from. The library tab, which contains all the effects and emitters and fonts that Motion 5 has. By the way, they've taken away live fonts from the library, unfortunately. And the inspector tab which gives you different parameters of each effect that you can tweak around. Over here you have the select tool, adjust 3D transform tool, you have the pan tool, you have the rectangle tool, the Bezier tool, Paint Stroke tool, the Text tool, you have the Rectangle Mask tool, you have the time code and the seconds and all that stuff right there. You have the Show Height HUD, you have the Create the Camera tool. Create a light tool. You have add a generator tool. Add a behavior to the selected object tool. Add a filter to the selected object tool. Create a particle emitter tool. And create a replicator tool. Right here, that's an option to make your animation a loop playback in Motion 5. And by clicking this, you can go to full screen for viewing your animation. And by clicking that again, you can go back to seeing all the canvas and timeline area. You have your, of course, recording and pause and playback and fast forward tools right there. You have your speaker right there turned on and turned off. And this adjusts the size of your canvas. One important thing, when you want to export your video, you may, out of habit, go to file. And you're going to be like, what the hell happened? I don't see an export option here. Well, that's because for exporting your video, you have to go to share. And there is where you have all your different options for exporting your video. Now let's do a quick time test of Motion 5. Okay, so this is a little animated logo that I made. It's a 10 second long animation. And as you can see here, it's 1, 2, 3, um, 4 five six layers actually i don't know why this is even there that's uh, that doesn't count so it's five layers it's a five layer project really simple animation 10 seconds long sorry <laughs> it is 10 seconds long and i am going to export it as a quick time movie uh with alpha channels so i'm gonna go to share export movie Apple ProRes 444 if you want alpha channels with your QuickTime movie so you can superimpose your animation on anything that's the option you have to choose on Motion 5 Apple ProRes 4444 so choose that go to advanced nothing changes here go to render Make sure it's color plus alpha, like I've said in my last video. You click next. Now, before I do this, keep in mind, I'm screen capturing this video. And screen capturing slows down any computer to a certain amount. So this may not be a very effective way of time testing it, but it's going to be close.
we're gonna say motion five time test and we are going to save it to desktop remember it's only a 10 second long video we're gonna see how long it's gonna take Forty nine seconds, thirty two seconds, So it took about three times longer than um, the actual length of the project. And as soon as it finishes, it gives you a preview on QuickTime. So we're going to play back the QuickTime preview now, see what it looks like. Yeah, the quality seems to be good. Not bad, not bad. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash dgtronic. Subscribe to my YouTube channel right here on youtube.com slash dgtronic. For more tutorial videos, tech news videos, iPod app review videos, Mac app review videos, all that cool stuff. I will see you in the next video.